All right. I really want to share something with everybody that's watching this video. And my policy is never to talk bad about other roofing contractors or um, workmanship. It, it's just, I don't like to do that. Yeah, I don't know what happened to the conditions, but in this case, I really want to share something that is horrible. And uh, I know the contractor, I know the person, he's a very nice person, but horrible, horrible roofing job. So, and here's the problem. We did this entire roof because of the, the contractor. So this is the roof we, we busy with. Uh, you can tell we did most of it. I took the drain away they, they installed. I installed a uh, channel. Here's the channel. And uh, it's flowing nice. But let me show you what type of workmanship was here. So, <clears throat> and this is the horrible part. So, there used to be a, uh, a torch down roof underneath. The first roof is a torch down, right here. That's a torch down roof, you can hardly see it. That's, an, that's the original roof on this, on this house. Then somebody came and installed uh, a, a hot tar gravel roof. This is a hot tar gravel roof. Now, when this, this, these people installed a hot tar gravel roof, they did this. Look at this fiber board and whatever they did just to get this uh, higher, to make it uh, higher and and level it out so water can drain off. So obviously water was sitting somewhere and these people came and they, they did this. Then came another roofing contractor and installed over the stone and gravel his uh, built up like this uh, iso board and fiber board and they make it even made it even worse i'm going to tell you why they uh, it becomes it, it's a compounding problem but you can tell the guy was cheap because he used these plates which are very good to use but he used little sheetrock screws because he didn't want to buy the proper sheetrock the plates are good but he didn't use he used sheet lock screws, screws at rust. This is not the proper screws. I'll show you what the proper screws are. They're not even screwed in properly. Look, they were piercing through. I mean, horrible. But that's not the only problem. Then he tried to use some kind of shingle, wood sh shingles to uh, level this out. Put wood shingles everywhere. Look at the space underneath here. I mean, horrible, horrible, horrible. Then he used some shingles somewhere to level it out. I mean, you use anything, that's fine, but do a nice job. Look at the, um, the spaces between here and the cuts and very, very badly. And look, it's wet here. It was leaking. This is all wet. It was leaking. And this would probably never show down in a, in a house, but the roof was leaking. It was leaking to the next layer, to the next layer. And that's why it's decomposing. I say it smells very bad because it's decomposing. But after five years or so, this roof would be disaster. So very bad. You can uh, just the workmanship, very, very bad. I don't, I'd, I'd go over other roofs and it's fine, but the surface has to be properly done. This was horrible. And then, let me explain something. Oh, they took the roof up already. They still take, oh, here's some part of it. So, so the roof was leaking. You see, this is wet. This is all wet. This is wet, okay? So it was leaking, so he coated the, the roof that he originally did with some asphalt coating. So this is asphalt coating over a torch now. But that was not enough. Then he still, he came back and he coated it with silicon, silicon coating. I mean, how 
horrible, 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 horrible. So this, all of the two roots is gone now. I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> Excuse me. Anyway, so for me to tell the owner it's a contractor that he hired um, and they know four years ago that messed up, it's very hard. I cannot get into the middle of to be a contractor in the middle of a contractor and the owner dispute. I don't want to do that. So I always try to keep my mouth shut and, not, and just say the roof has to be done. But that is the horrible story not hiring the right person or getting somebody cheap. I think the guy did it very cheap. Um, he didn't, oh, let me explain more. So he used these these plates with sheet rock screws or whatever that is. And then to save more money, he used these little plates, nothing, with nails. I can pull this nail up with my hand, with roofing nails. It, that's not the way to do it. So. Every now and place you put this plate, which is good. Then he use this. This is nothing. I mean, this is horrible, horrible, horrible situation. Anyway, I'm fixing this roof. It looks good now. When I'm done, it's going to be very nice. Water would not sit on this roof. I'm making channels where necessary. But again, for a homeowner, this is the most important part of the house. If the roof is not done right, you're gonna pay dearly for it. it don't get the cheapest guy. And I'm gonna tell you something, EPDM roofs are even the worst. They only last five, 10 years without any problems. I don't like EPDM roofs, but again, it's up to you how you decide who you want and the salesman is going to sell you an EPDM roof because most roofing contractors, what they do is EPDM. I do torch down two ply membrane. And you can see in the other videos the two ply membrane. Anyway, enough yapping right I got to do some work. But I wanted to share with you the bad workmanship that can, that happens all the time by different roofing contractors or just contractors. This guy is not even a proper roofing contractor. He was a contractor, but very, very, very badly done. All right, so we're almost done getting the first layer off and then the second layer, and then we're gonna be done soon. Okay, back to work.